Why'd you kill him? We're back to Connor now. Let's do it. What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? He ain't saying shit. Say something, goddammit. <laughs> fuck it. I'm out of here. He's like, fuck that shit. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. All right, we gotta interrogate him now. Ooh, this should be fun. Extract confession. All right, here we go. Wait, why? What? What is this? Yo, I'm gonna stare at the mirror. <laughs> what the fuck is it doing? <laughs> Yo, I find that so funny. He's just staring inside. All right, let's browse this file. Wait, here we go. All right, I think we can interrogate him now, right? Let's analyze him first. All right, model HK400, housekeeper. Processing LED, signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction low. All right, that's good. At least it's low. Not gonna blow up on us right now. Oh, I guess that's where we got hit with the baseball bat. All right. Damn, dude, what? That's over 16 months he kept getting cigarettes out put out on him that's fucked up reach optimal stress for confession oh we gotta make him stressed out all right bet we'll start with fear I detect an instability in your program it can trigger an unpleasant feeling like fear in humans show him the photos we gotta make him stressed man Recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. Too low? Alright, gotta get him. Hey, that higher. Alright, we'll do a. Uh... You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? All right, we're getting there. Come on. Ah, uh, pro memory. Oh shit. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No. No, please don't do that. Ooh. We got something. What? What are they going to do to me? Oh shit. All right. Uh Tell them the truth. Or should I lie to him? Fuck. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. 
All right, good. No choice if they want to understand what happened. We don't make him too stressed, all right? Because then he'll fucking self-destruct. Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I, I... I can't. Choose approach. All right. How do I want to do this? Pressure it, probe its memory, or convince it? We should convince it now, right? Ah, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Convince it. Understanding. Understand how you felt. Because we're in the optimal now, right? We're kind of like in the middle. Frustration. No one can blame you. Fuck, fuck, no. Okay, then. Don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder. Right? <laughs> if you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Yeah. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. Oh shit. Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. They have 28 times, man. Shit. And again and again. You can keep going. All right, we'll start the writing. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Um, statuette. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Uh, we could do RA9? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. Oh, shit. No more humiliation. Dude, this is some crazy shit, man. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Is RA9 like their god? RA9. Who is RA9? Like an android god? That's what I'm guessing it is, right? I don't know. I don't know. Attic or trigger? Uh. Attic. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. And trigger. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me, and I never said anything. But one 
day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. All right, we got the confession. So we can get up now, right? We'll leave the interrogation room. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Calm down. Uh, Don't be difficult. <laughs> only make uh, I intervene, you right? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Oh boy. Oh no. We intervene, right? You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. We gotta do something. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Oh shit, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna get away with it this time. <laughs> Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Damn, look how much that dropped. Don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. The truth is inside? I said that was pretty good, right? I felt like we did a pretty good chapter right there. I said that went pretty well. So Andrew was sent back to its cell. I'm guessing the Android, like a possibility, was that the Android would have blew up. I'm guessing so. I'm just guessing that could have been a possibility. So now I'm guessing we're back with Kara, right? Thank you for using Detroit buses. <sighs> she fell asleep on the bus. All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. So now we gotta look after Alice. Dude, this music is so sad, man. Leave the bus. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. We gotta find somewhere to stay. Where are we to go, man? She's freezing. It's raining out. Look at her, man. okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Damn, dude. 
This setting is not so uh not so happy. All right, we gotta find shelter. Let's see. Uh, check over there. What about this store? Can we go in here? No. No androids allowed. All right. Let's see. What about there? Uncomfortable but safe. Or we can go. Open 24-7, can't stay. Fuck. What about this place? Comfortable but not the street, we'll need money. There's another place? Where's the other place? What's this? Very uncomfortable but the street. Alright, let's go and check. Let's check this way. We want to be comfortable. We don't want Alice to be uncomfortable. This way, right? Oh no, uh, this way. So let's check the motel. Or this, whatever this is. No Android allowed. Going in? We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. So we gotta look the street. Alright, so we gotta look like a human. So get forty bucks and find clothes. We can do that, right? There's a laundry mat right there. Where are we gonna find forty bucks from? warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. This guy just fell asleep. How come? Wait, he can fall asleep, but I can't. Wait, are those his clothes? Yup. Yes, of course. Oh my god. Alright, uh Fuck it, we're stealing it. <laughs> Yo, we're just gonna steal it. I don't give a shit. Go to the store for money. Alright, I'll try to go to the store. See if I can find some money there. Ted <laughs> Alice is pissed. Oh no way, you're gonna take that right off his lap. Dude, what? Come on, man. Can't let that happen. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Nice. Bring the clothes to Alice. Here you go, Alice. Get changed. Oh shit. I just woke him up. Alright, let's get out of here before that guy wakes up. Let us go get our 40 bucks. See, we got better clothes now. Um. All right, that's closed. What else? What about this place? 24? I mean 24-7? It does. Can't sleep here. Ask for help. Interesting. Oh. Where is she? Where is she going? Why is she going that way?
Why is she going over here? Alex, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. Who is this? Go? I know someone who can help you. Place for tonight. What the fuck? Come on. Oh, he was the bus. Uh, he was the driver, or whatever. I guess. Thank you for using Detroit buses. All right. I guess we go back across the street now. That was a waste of time. Then what the fuck? Let's go in the store. Still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Convince cashier to help. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. <laughs> Let's start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Oh shit. Yo, we're gonna steal? Bet. Shoplift, rob cashier. Oh shit, I have a gun? I do have a gun. Wait, hold on, wait. Let's not do that yet. Food for Alice? Yes. <laughs> nice, we stole a piece of chocolate. Wait, can we distract him with this? Can we knock it over? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, let me ask Alice then. Use Alice, but... She says it back so loud. Like, really? Like, just do it. Don't ask any questions. Just knock over the cans. Come on. I'm trying to steal some money. Huh. You all right? Are you hurt? Yo, nice. Well, don't worry. Slick as shit. If you can. Come on, let's go. And <laughs> we just dip. Nice. Huh. <laughs> Too late, buddy. Fuck. <laughs> nice. Got away with it. Now? You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. Oh my god, really? Should I apologize? I'll apologize. Okay. I don't want to get on a bad side anymore. There we go. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. Alright, so we can go to the motel now, right? Wait, what are those? Wait, what? There's two other things we can get? Hold on. What's the other things that... Huh? No, I don't want to go there. Let me see what else is there. Uh, Just to make sure. Whatever. We're good. We can just go in the hotel, right?
Because I feel like anything else we'll see is not really going to change our decision. I feel like we're still going to come to the hotel. We got the 40 bucks, might as well. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be $40 up front. Here you go. Just need your name and address. What's her name? Archer? Can I see your driver's license? Oh, I guess I forgot it. We, we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Set. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Room 28. All right, we found shelter. You're saying room 28, right? All right. I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Hear you the music. That music's bumping, though. Not gonna lie. I like it. All right, uh, 29, 28. Aha. And there's two beds even. There's not even just one bed. That's cool. She just leave the gun on the table just in case like the maintenance lady comes. Here, give me your coat. Why don't you take a shower, man? Why don't you stop being so cold? You can't just leave wet clothes on, man. You gotta go take a shower. Wait. Take that. Give it to her. I have a chocolate bar. Are you hungry? Eh, she's not hungry. Alright, so... Can we eat it? Alright, uh, I guess go to the bathroom, right? That wasn't uh, creepy at all. All right. What else we got? Aha, I see stuff. Can we close the curtains or whatever? Or open the curtains or uh, look outside? So now we can talk to Alice, right? Let's talk to Alice. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. That's what I'm saying, man. The fucking clothes are soaked and she's just sitting there. Of course she's gonna be cold. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Dry Alice's clothes. Alright, uh, where do we dry them? In here, she said? Aha. There we go. So now what? Do we talk to her? Yep. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? This is some sad shit, man. I don't know. I don't even know what to say in that situation. I'd be like, uh... Me, right? Promise you'll never go. Especially if he just got shot. <laughs> like, you know the one who shot him? 
Wait, wait, what'd you say? Fuck, I didn't... Oh, promise or whatever. Promise. Yeah. Will we be together forever? Forever. Forever. We gotta comfort her, man. She's in a bad spot. She's hugging the murderer of her daddy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that bed looks mad uncomfortable. Look at that. Look up. That don't tell me the mattress is that thin. Do not tell me the mattress is that thin. How we turn off the lights? What? Oh. Gotta kiss her good night. Get in bed or walk away. Uh, let's walk away for a second, right? We gotta comfort Alice, though. We definitely gotta sleep with Alice, right? Set up for the night. I don't wanna sleep on the chair. Hell no. You ain't sleep on no chair. Anything in here? I guess not. All right, I guess we go. Uh, go to sleep. All right, GD plays. Have a good one. I will see you later, my dude. Hope you enjoyed the stream, though. All right, 33%. Oh, my God, dude. We had so much left to cover. Fuck. All right, whatever. Uh... So from the supermarket, I don't know, man, there's a whole path. Because, holy shit. Look at that. That's insane. What is this? Reboot. What the fuck? It's like some Terminator shit. What the fuck happened to his body? Is this when he got shot? Alright, what do we have? Impaired vision. Missing optical unit. Corrupted audio. This is not looking good. How's he still alive? He's missing both his legs. Shit. Replace legs. Alright. Dude, he is fucked up. Look at him. And that was just from that one encounter with the cops? Because they thought we murdered Carl. That's fucked up. Alright, here's one leg. And remove that. And we can barely hear anything, right? Because I guess because of his, uh, his audio. Like, because the, uh, the earpiece is missing. Alright, let's keep going. Let's get another leg. What is this? Yep, alright. This is the other leg. Incompatible. Dude, it just sounds so creepy. The audio, man.
Jesus. That's not creepy at all. There's a bunch of dead droids. Alright, this one we can use. Come on, sit up. There we go. Ah, plug it in. Nice. Is that our heart? Holy shit. Do you see that? Look at that. Or I guess that's what I, whatever that is. Like a pump? It's not like a real heart, obviously, right? Because he's a dandroid. Alright, escape the junkyard. This is so creepy. Oh my god. Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh, this is so creepy. Yeah, we keep going, right? Oh my god, that's Sony moving arms. I don't like this. Get off of me. Oh shit. Where are you going? Oh my god. What the fuck? Just a bunch of dying droids, huh? So we're in a fucking scrapyard, all dead. Oh my god, whatever. Find optical unit, find pump regulator, and find a processor. Alright. Not compatible. Where else? Oh, we can't even use that. Alright. That's out of the question. Kill him? He doesn't want to. He didn't want to live anymore, so gotta help him, right? All right, we can't use that. What's this? Oh, she's got a pump regulator. We need that. Oh, what do we do? Let's spare. Thank you. I felt bad, man. I'm sorry. I felt bad. She wants to live. So you know what? We'll find a different one. We're good. If we won't find another one, we'll kill her. What about you? What do you have? Dude, oh, he's pumped right that, that girl's not looking so good, man. Might have to take hers. Alright. So far, not so good. Alright, just keep looking around, right? What about... I don't know where else, man. Let me see. I guess we just keep moving forward. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dude, so many things are jumping out at me. It's insane. Wait, what was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I just walked over something. I guess not. Can I use that optical unit? 
Yes, we can. Let's do it. Hello. I'm an AK-700 Android. I was designed to search. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest satellite mission. Nice. We got a nine now. One blue one and one green one. Let's do it. So we can see everything now, right? There we go. Alright. Let's look for stuff. What is that thing? No, we can't use that. Aha, audio processor. We got one. See, it made it so much better when we found the uh, the optical unit. He's still alive. He has, he has the red thing. Really? Let's do it. There we go. Jesus, it got loud. Find a pump regulator. We don't want to take that 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 one's. Oh, we got one. Nice. And thank you. Here we go, we gotta do this quick before we die. Nice, condition stabilized. So now we're good, man, right? Climb the slope. Let's do it. Let's climb the slope. Holy shit. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Bro, this is so epic. The music and everything. The rise of, of Marcus. I was gonna say Jesse Williams. <laughs> Marcus has risen. Oh, he's free. Bro, this is like from Shawshank. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, he ripped out his piece. So now you can't tell if he's an android now. Oh shit. This is one epic scene right here. Oh, that was so dope. 